where the life of a cat, like, it must be nice just to sleep all the time. But boys and girls, today we have a box. And not any box, this is a box I've been waiting for for literally 10 months and it's finally here. So if we go back 10 months ago, back when I was still living in Florida, I had just got a box in the mail all the way from Germany, which was my rear side skirt and my rear front lip. Now these parts were originally come from California where the company's at, but they didn't have them in stock, so they came all the way from Rieger from Germany, which is where I am now. They said, we can send you another one, it's not a problem, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. I said, don't worry about it, I'm moving to Germany literally next month. Once I get there, get an address, just send it there. They said, no problem, good to go. Once I got here, sent them an address, all that kind of stuff, box never came, box never came, they shipped it to me, and then it came back to them, and we had a whole bunch of issues, and it's been just a very, very long time, but finally, Finally, the Rieger front lip, the non, hopefully non-broken one, that they said they would sent me is finally here. It's been a long wait, but hey, we got it. So without further ado, let's open up this box, make sure everything's good to go, then we can paint it and put it on the car today. Yes. Ooh, boys and girls, our second Rieger front lip, and this one is not broken. I don't think. Bang. Not broken. Just a good lip. Now this is a Rieger GTX front lip for the Vento bumper. They also make one for the Golf bumper or the American bumper, but if you have a Vento bumper, you need a Vento lip. I saw people who argue with me and try and say that other lips will fit the Vento bumper. Vento lips fit Vento bumpers and that's it. Now don't get me wrong, you can put a Golf lip or American Jetta or American Golf lip on a Vento bumper, but the center does not meet properly and the outside by the end of the bumper on the corners does not fit right. It, you, can, you can do it, but it's not not right. Ideally, you need a Vento lip for a Vento bumper if you want the perfect fit and for it to look good. So this is a Rieger g lip for a Vento bumper, and I'll show you the partner in just a second. That way you know if you're trying to order one for a Vento bumper, this is a partner that you will need. So let's grab the, let's go pull Miley out real quick and show you the damage from before, which a lot of you probably never seen before. Just a casual uh, 39 today. Kind of sucks, we were doing good. We were almost into the 70s at one point. It was like 66 degrees, then the rain came, two days ago the cold front came through, and now we have like 30s and 40s the next couple weeks. I was hoping for springtime, we're getting closer. We, we have sunny days at least, but it's cold again. Oh, no one's sleeping. Now, like I said, there's probably a lot of you who've never noticed it before, but on this side of my lip, there is a crack right there, and also kind of hangs off a little bit on the side. You can see that kind of off because this tab over here is broken. So let me go ahead and pull it off real quick, and then you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Got there. All right, so put the lip now off. Right here, this section, when I got it, was broken. When, when it's on the car, it kind of like pushes together, but you can see it's kind of like dented in, and then this section got actually snapped. And then back over here, the uh, this piece is broken. So now, we have a nice new lip. Now thankfully the damage wasn't like excessive where I couldn't use the lip at all, but it's still very cool of them to reach out to me and say, hey, it's broken, we'll fix it. So shout out to them. It took a little while, but it's okay. And we have rear lip times two now. I'm actually surprised on how well this lip held up because you see the bottom here. It's definitely uh, seen uh, the concrete and other things a handful of times. I was a bit scared to run this lip at first. I thought if you hit it, it would just gonna like break immediately, but it's held up really well versus like the roads in, in Georgia, all the mountain roads and just like all the driving it's been through. It's actually held up really well. I'm surprised on how strong it is. Now granted, in shipping, it got destroyed, but I feel like normal use, that's actually pretty strong. Now I know I could have easily fixed this like with some epoxy and just glued it basically back together and then also this little piece as well. But when I first reached out to me, I didn't think it was gonna take this long so I kinda just left it, but it's okay. Maybe I'll fix this one now and have it as a backup or a spare or maybe I'll sell it 
Well, so, I mean, you can still buy these lips new. They're not like super, super rare. Just make sure you're the right part number. If we look right here, you can see the stamp right there. It says Rieger Original. You also see it says VW Vento. So we know it's for the Vento, but also the part number is 00042024. And then same on this one. So if you have a Vento and you want this lip, make sure it has that part number that says for Vento. The other ones say for Golf slash Cabrio, and it will not fit your Vento bumper, and you'll be sad. Also, since Rieger is a German company, it comes with your... Uh, your two paperwork. Now, I don't need this stuff because I'm an American and we're military over here, but if you're a German citizen, you will need this to prove it's good to actually be on your car. So it's cool it comes with this as well. Uh oh. Look who's back. She wanted to go outside, but it's cold outside. Yeah, it's cold, isn't it? Welcome back. So the plan now is we're gonna go ahead and paint this little trim paint so it matches what the car was before. And then I was planning on washing the car, but it's it's cold outside, so I, I don't know about all that. We'll see. We will be doing our painting down here today in the little paint studio because it's so cold outside. All right, first layer done. I'll probably do three or four total because it is the front of the car and a lot of stuff does hit the front lip. And we want it to be durable and not chip. All right, the lip for mine should be done in about five, 10 minutes. Mark threes with no front lip just look so awkward. We are also gonna bust out the hose here because even though it's freezing, Miley deserves a bath. Look how nice it is. See that? Wow. Wow, it's exactly the same as that last one, just minus the cracker there. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. Plus some fresh paint though. Well, at least now it'll fit better and there's no more awkward piece hanging off the side. And it's scratched. <laughs> I do like these one piece lips though because they fit like really nicely. Ooh, look at that. Much better. Nice fresh slip. No more. No more crack. Man, I need to repaint my uh, my side skirts too because they don't look as nice as this. Like Fresh car wash feel is such a good feeling. Look at that. I think this is the first wash this car has gotten since like the beginning of winter, and it was disgusting. It actually looks brand new again. And also, the wheels. I was a little bit nervous I didn't use enough clear coat on these things, but thankfully I did, and they look brand new yet again. Woo! What a beauty. It was kind of funny. Halfway through washing the car, I actually had to stop, go inside, run my hands under hot water because they were so unbelievably cold and just numb and hurting. And then I thought, why don't I just fill up my car wash bucket? 
with hot water and then it was, it was the best thing ever. So pro tip, if it's cold outside, you wanna wash your car, hot water in your bucket goes a long, long way for your hands. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of a, a slow day here, we didn't do too much, but most of the world right now is kind of just slowed down. There's not too much happening. Um, the current stats right here in Germany, we're not in quarantine yet. We might go there, but as of right now, we're not. Um, the current status right now is that two or more people cannot be out in public in a gathering. You can get fined. Now, if it's your family and like your household setting, that's okay. But if it's two more people out somewhere, like at a restaurant or just any type of public place, you can get fined and get in trouble. So it's just, it's just wild. Restaurants are shutting down, things like that. So we'll see what happens. I have parts on order for the TDI. When they'll get here, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, we'll just play it day by day. Make sure you guys stay safe. Make sure you wash your hands. Follow the rules. I know lockdown is no fun, but if we can get this entire thing to kind of die down, flatline, and start decreasing, that is what we want. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, be thankful for us today. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.